Sairam Sankram. So uh, today, uh, last uh, last session was on May sixth evening. That is May seventh on uh, in India. So we were looking at the significance of Aradhana Day and uh, Ishwara Day uh, in uh, at the starting of the session. So we were talking okay. about how mm-hmm. Aradhana means welcoming to the heart. Mm-hmm. And uh, Aradhana is an act of gratitude where we actually uh, we are trying to emulate the things that Swami likes, and we are trying to practice them in, in our lives, like mm-hmm. Satyam, Dharma, Shanti, Prema, and uh, you know Seva, how to do service to mankind, and all mm-hmm. those things. Mm-hmm. And then how, we we have to spend a whole day with Swami in gratitude in some kind of a way. Like correct. Some people correct. do budget, some people do service, correct. Correct. And all those kinds of things. Then. Uh, we should uh, what swami expects from uh, us is we have to keep remembering swami over and over again like in constant contemplation correct and then uh, then uh, we talk about how body is given to experience divinity it's like uh, the electricity entering the bulb and uh, how uh, god enters the body to make us realize the divinity correct. and then we talk about ishwara body and the day of uh, mother ishwara's passing has been declared by swami as to be celebrated in honor of our mother Mm-hmm. we have to treat, uh, treat every woman as a mother okay. and then uh, uh, and uh, we, we generally in our organization we give uh, the sari and we give clothes to newborns on the day and uh, why ma- we we talk about why mother is given so much importance compared to fathers how mother love is mo- more uh, superior to compared to a father and more selfless and uh, also it was also shankara jayanti as well uh, uncle since the all i think uh, Mm-hmm. Both Ishwara Day and Shankara Day are coincided on the same day. Yeah, coincided. So yes. We we are talking about how he went to Kashi and uh, the Mandana Mishra incident where they were having mm-hmm. that discussion and they were arguing. Correct. And uh, Ubaya Bharati was there as a you know uh, uh, as a you know judge or something like that, and then she also Correct. participated in the conversation. And then later on, he, uh, we we many many of the incidents we discussed and about how a low, a lower class man was asking to give, give the way, uh, but he was actually Lord Shiva. And then how Kapalika was also transformed by uh, Kapalika is a person who tries to free people and then take their skulls. Mm-hmm. And uh, 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 basically, Adi Shankara told him that you are a child of God, and he, he becomes a devotee of uh, Adi Shankara. And then uh, we talked about the uh, the verse that we gave Durlabham Prayame Vaitha Deva Deva Na Guraha Yetukam Manushatam Mukshatam Abhushatam Shayacha. And then uh, the five lingams that he had uh, established in different places uh, like Kashi, Singiri, and the, uh, I mean uh, Kanchi and all those places. Mm-hmm. And then uh, after that we were talking. We came back to subject Uncle uh, the Purvas family, the lineage we were talking about. Jahnu and uh, Jamadagni, uh, uh, and uh, in the lineage uh, Nahusha and who had sons uh, y- Yati and Yayati, and uh, Nahusha was cursed to be a snake, and Yayati became the king later on. He uh, uh, he was actually uh, the, during an incident, Sarvista and uh, Sarvista is the daughter of the uh, neighboring kingdom, and uh, Devayani is the daughter of the Su- Sukracharya Guru Guru of the uh, kingdom. So uh, what happens is uh, uh, they take a bath and then their clothes get mixed by uh, mix, mistake and uh, 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 Devani wears Sarmishtha's clothes and uh, they, uh, Sarmishtha gets enga- enraged and she throws her into a well mm-hmm. and uh, the king uh, Yayati saves her from the well so that that becomes the vivaha like uh, the process that we do in the marriage. So she he, she asks him to marry her, and we are talking about the concept of anuloma vivaha and tiloma vivaha, and uh, how uh, uh, that that will not be right uh, because the qualities of the father will be transmitted to the child, and uh, how uh, Yayati uh, after uh, Sukracharya agrees to the marriage and uh, he marries uh, uh, yeah, I mean sorry Devayani, uh, but later on. Uh, uh sarmishta is also uh, having an affair with the yayati and they have they also have children but uh, uh, coming to uh, know of this uh, uh sukracharya curses yayati to become old like quickly old prematurely he become he gains old age but then uh, uh, he uh, he begs and asks for forgiveness from sukracharya so that uh, he gives a condition that if any of any one of his sons is uh, willing to take up the old age then he can become uh, young again 
so then puru takes up the old age and we uh, we were talking about the puru dynasty as well uh, how uh, every uh, puru is given the charge of the kingdom and every uh, other the other sons they move to the all the di- different directions and uh, the dushmanta or dushyanta is also we were talking about and the shakuntala how he married her in the ashram and then later on uh, he goes to the kingdom and abandons her and then uh, uh, le- when when she comes back to his kingdom and asks for uh, you know uh, this is your son uh, he 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 does not recognize her and publicly he does not accept her but uh, the voice from the skies when they speak to him he is uh, he accepts Uh, his son Bharata, and we were also talking about Hasti, the king of Hastinapura, uh, from the king from whom the name Hastinapura comes, and the Yadu Amsha, and then uh, Bharata had three wives, uh, and uh, one of his sons is called Bharadwaja, and uh, also the family of Ugrasena and Yadu also were coming from that lineage, and uh, Vasudeva who had seven wives, and. Uh, the astrologer uh, also he the astrologer actually tells kamsa who is the uh, brother in law to uh, vasudeva that uh, his sister's wife let's uh, say sister's son will kill him so uh, they, they uh, he uh, kamsa arrests uh, vasudeva in uh, jail and uh, he, he tries to kill every child that is born and then uh, uh, we were talking about how ishurama virgin mary and uh, devaki they were all god chosen mothers and uh, Uh, the child was not like it was not something like a birth, like normal birth, but it was a spiritual birth, a celestial birth. And uh, 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 we were talking about how uh, Yamuna River cross, like it gave the way so that Vasudeva can cross the river and uh, give the child uh, uh, to uh, uh, to uh, Yashoda and Ananda Gopal to raise. And then uh, we also talked about uh, Ranti Deva. Uh, he he was a, he was someone who fasted so that. Uh, Uh, he he could uh, uh, satisfy the lord but then uh, when he uh, when he is about to eat everyone comes and asks him food so that he give, gives the food away and uh, he, uh, the act of sacrifice is shown he also gives food to a dog and uh, also we were talking about uh, the again the kuru vamsha and the hastinapura those part uncle and i think that the ninth volume concluded so we are we are talking about tenth volume now Uh, where uh, we will discuss about Krishna's birth and all the leelas that he performed. Okay. Okay. Anyway, so okay, okay. See now, we right. have completed nine volumes of Bhagavatam, which has nothing else but history, starting from creation to all the avatars. The tenth volume, it has got more number of slokas than all the nine volumes put together. So it is a very very detailed one. We have to go into the detail, the tenth volume, the Samaskandam they call it. But after the the Samaskandam, the eleventh and twelfth are there. But anyway, now today, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. These three days in eastern countries, starting from Malaysia to Japan and China, they are celebrating Buddha Jayanti. On sixteenth is Buddha Jayanti, but they celebrate for three days. So naturally, uh, we'll let us talk about Buddha for some time. Then we'll get back to the our tenth volume. Now, Buddha, you know, you are born in Kapila Vastu. He was the king. Actually, he was the prince. Then see, he was not interested in anything. The king wanted him to get married, so he sent a lot of girls. So he get ideas to get get married. Then he got married, and he got a child. And some other, he felt it that he is not happy. He came down from the foothills of Nepal, from kingdom. To Gaya, G A Y A Gaya in Bihar. There he got enlightened. Then he got enlightened. When he got enlightened, then he he started telling all these rituals of no use, no idol worshiping, no rituals, uh, and then uh, no bhajan, all these things. He just said, first of all, clean yourself. Clean yourself. That's what he said. Clean yourself means nirvan. He said, clean yourself. Then slowly, the devotees are talking one by one. Came to me. Then he taught about eightfold path. That is very very important for Buddhism. Eightfold path. Eightfold path. That we'll talk about it. Eightfold path. He wants us every devotee, every monk, M O N K monk, 
or even if follow, follows Buddhism, should follow the eightfold path. The first one is known as Samyak Drushti. Samyak Drushti means you, 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 you are seeing your eyes, whatever you see, then it gets recorded in your mind. You th and the mind tells you that if mind is contaminated, they say this is bad, this is good, this is better, and all those things. But a monk should not, there is no question of good or better or best, all are equal. You take the darkness also as equal, or lightness also as equal, everything is equal. If you do not have that kind of a feeling, then you lose your uh, balance of mind. You cannot go it. Samyak drishti. For example, B Buddha and his, his disciples on Ananda, both they went there for begging. So they went to a particular house and asked for Bhikshan Dehi, Bhikshan Dehi. See, the word Bhikshan Dehi means Bhikshan Deha, no, be Dehi. That is, Dehi means soul in the Deha is known as Dehi. So the soul is asking for food. So that woman came, saw these two people, muscular body, heavy. What it is, you people are good for nothing. Go and work somewhere, man. He has food, are not ashamed to beg lazy people. And she banged them both. And Buddha also took it and then they started walking. This Ananda got upset. Hey Baba, my Guru and this woman is talking ill about my Guru, talking all the nonsense. Well, I must teach her some lesson. Then he says, Swami, can you give me some time? I just, I'll go to, I'll go and meet her and come back. He says, no, 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 come, follow me, follow me. He says. Then after some time, he was carrying Kamandalu. So, Kamandalu must see Kamandalu what? Where water jug, small water jug. Uh, Buddha asked uh, Ananda, Ananda, who is, who is this? Uh, this comment, uh, who is who is the one of the you, Swami, you are carrying. Okay, all right. After something, you uh, you keep it for some. You keep it. So he gave it. Now where is comment? Uh, comment is in me. Who is carrying? I am carrying. After some time, give back. Uh, you take back. Now where is comment? Uh, it is yours. Do you have anything? No, I have nothing. This is what happened. Uh, the, uh, that that lady's affair. Is it? What is this? I'm not able to follow. See, that lady banged us. I took it in Samyak Drishti. I took it in the same way as it is good. With result, nothing came to my mind except goodness. So, whatever the bad thing that he sent, he went back to her. Went back to her. In your case, whatever she used the bad word, you carried something. That is got into your mind. There is no Samyak Drishti. So because you came there and you wanted to teach her. The truth, that's why I tell you, commonly you are carrying, you are carrying something which does not belong to you. Whereas I get get back, you are free. So similarly here, whatever that lady, lady bank says, that does not belong to you. So why do you accept it? Why do you accept it? That is not Samyak Drishti. So learn that first of all, Samyak Drishti. See everything equally. So there's no question of bad, there's no question of good, all are same. So next comes is Samyak walk. Samyak walk means talk relevantly. Talk in such a way that you should not hurt somebody. For that, the mind must be clean. That's why, because of Samyak Drishti, good things will get into your mind and good things only should come out of your walk. So you should not hurt, hurt anybody. See, for example, you must have known about Anguli Mala I said. Anguli means figure. That Anguli Mala, he, he, he eats for human flesh. He kills people, eat human flesh, take the finger, make it as a garland. That is known as Anguli Mala. So when Buddha was teaching with, with his disciples, Anguli Mala came, Oh, you are there, I, I have my dinner with you. I will kill you, I have my dinner. And then he says, uh, figure, hey, please take it. No, oh, you are such a lovable person. You, I see you, you, you are very, very beautiful. You are very divine and all this. That Angul Mala got upset. What is this? Where the question? I am, I, I am beautiful. I am a killer. I killed so many people and you talk to me that I am very beautiful. Yes, you are very beautiful. See, just because you cover with a blanket and sleep, that means you are not there. You are inside the blank blanket. Blanket is only body. You are only body. Your body is maybe affecting bad things, but you are good, you are pure, you are like me. There is nothing different between you and me. 
to he started in, uh, in such a way that man he said he got he st started thinking are so many people are afraid of me the moment they heard my sound they ran away but here is a person who did not run away who stood there and tells me that i am very good i am beautiful i am divine all such a thing you are talking he is not at all afraid but he said are hey, hey, are not afraid of me where the question of you are low i i am low you are the way the question of prayer see you are so good then do, do you think i can become good yes you can become good then he accepts uh, buddha as his as his guru so that angle but that means that is because of the samyak walk it all see swami talk in something which appeals to our heart there are so many people who give lecture that we listen and we forget about it because it goes to the mind not to the heart when a swami talks from the heart so it goes to our heart so samyak walk means you must talk it every word that comes out of you should come from your heart not from your mind mind gives so many things so many selfishness it gives you should not accept to so talk from your heart that is known as samyak walk next comes in samyak drishti samyak walk next is samyak ajiva samyak ajiva means you should be a light to others there is no darkness as long as you are there there is no darkness in you in your in you and you also create the bad thing darkness from others so when you are walking you walk with the light you must walk with the light that means you must be absolutely pure you should not get worried about it so you are uh, samyak aj be light to others for example or i give an example for this when buddha was teaching to so many people and he was talking about um, nirvan that means give up everything give up everything that thing as long as you have something you have problems and all then the two rich people were uh, seated there he said are what is this this fellow is talking that that we should leave everything give up everything the fellow this fellow has given the kingdom he has given his wife he has given his son he is a beggar why should we also be beggar why should we also be beggar that is not correct so better to we will we'll give a lesson we we'll teach him a lesson he said so we appoint for we last got appointment at about 3 o'clock so you start one you first one first rich man you bang him for one hour then second and above hour i bang him that fellow will be crumble he will collapse okay they decided they asked for appointment at 3 o'clock appointment was given and two people two people two rich people went there the first fellow started talking bad thing unparliamentary words and all buddha was keeping quiet people going on listening 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 so that fellow after one hour he got tired the second fellow started talking over not talking banging accusing all sort of unparliamentary words five o'clock then he said sir please excuse me i have to go to the next village it take half an hour for me to go to the next village there i am supposed to teach some they are waiting for me that is but half an hour then uh, after 6 o'clock after after 30 minutes after one hour again i'll come back here another half an hour so one and a half hours i will be free i will not be here so i want you to take rest you have food here be ready be fresh when i come back when i come back then you started banging me again you can start to use your language ah oh, did not get hurt no i am light where is the darkness in the light in the room with the room the light is on can you say where is darkness there is no darkness There is no darkness, so that samyak ajiva, that is uh, this language, samyak ajiva. Then that man was taken aback. Oh my God, so much is there, and he also they also accept, they also become disciples. Next comes samyak vyayama. Vyayama means right effort. You must always do something which gives good result to others, not only to yourself but others. Otherwise, don't do any action. Vyayama means action. Your action must be good, selfless. Give light to others. Otherwise, don't do no no action without light. They keep quiet. That is the reason why most the Buddhist monks they never talk. They always contemplate, contemplate, so that they become light to the people. So that is that is what known as swam samyak vyayama. Next comes. Samyak sankalpa, sankalpa means here desire. Desire means 
you take your own decision and stick to it. Even you, when you go to the temples also, okay, uh, the, the priest asks, what is your sankalpa? He says, so you, you say sankalpa that I want this, I want that, that is a desire. So the pujari will go to recommends your name to God. So he like, but here what he says, the Buddha never talked about God. He never talked about avatars. He never talked about all the rituals, everything, nothing. That did one. That is the reason why in our Vedic, Vedic scholars in those days did not accept Buddha as an incarnation. Whereas Vyasa writes in his book, in his book of Bhagavatam, Astama, uh, yeah, 10th volume, Astama, 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 uh, 8th incarnation is uh, uh, Krishna, 9th is Buddha, he says, 10th is Kalki, that's what he says. But these people, the way he call it, what they did was, they, they, it's a Buddha, they say Balrama, 9th is Balrama. These some of the Vaishnavites, when they give a lecture, you go and read them, they say 9th is Balrama, they say. What is wrong? Because Krishna, Balrama, Sankarsana, and Pradyumna all gave together. They went together. So Balrama is brother, Pradyumna is son, uh, then Anirudha is grandson. All came out of him. Out of him. So they, they, they did not do so. So therefore, that Balrama, ninth author, is wrong. Vasa says it is Buddha. So this man said, he did not bother about what Vasa says. He never bothered about people talking ill about him and all those things. Uh, then this is Samyak Sankalpa means always you must resolve yourself to be enlightened, to be a light. Your light should not be darkened. If increasing your love, increasing your light as much as possible. So give light to the others. Be a refuge. Be a give, give light to the others, he said. Then next comes sam, Samyak Karmanta. Samyak Karmanta means an action which has no reaction on you. Samyak karmanta. No action resulted. That means you are doing action for others. The result goes to them. That's what we also to talk seva. Seva means what? That is, uh, sevaka does the seva and it goes to sevya. Sevya, uh, it goes to the sevya. Sevya means what receives the action of your seva. Here also the same thing. He also says here, right action means you should not enjoy anything. You, do for, you should not enjoy. Don't believe. He does not believe in Pradabdha Karma. He does not talk about Pradabdha Karma. He did not do. So that is why various scholars did not want to accept him as a ninth, ninth incarnation, though Vyasa writes in his book. So now this is known as Samyak Karmanta, right action. Next comes Samyak Spruti. Samyak Spruti means always keep your in mind only purity in your mind. No contamination whatsoever. That means keep your mind absolutely under your control. You keep the mind under your control. If you keep your mind under your control, then things will be very happy. The nothing can stop you. you know, nobody can hurt you because you are not you are not taking it. You are hurting. He is talking and it goes back to you. That is some mix with you. Always contemplate on purity. Contemplate on purity. Contemplate and nirvana. No, I nothing. I know nothing. I am nothing. I have nothing. I do nothing. No. That is called nirvana. The Samyak Smriti, next is known as Samyak Samadhi. Samyak Samadhi means right concentration. You are, if you take a decision, you take a decision on a particular thing, that should be a right one. So Samyak means equal. That is meaning that Sama, equal. Samyak, this is eightfold path that he has started in the, to this thing. Of course, later on, see, after he, then he, he lost, and he, before he died, the last things he teaches before, he, last words before his death, he says, be a lamp to others. That means what? Light. Wherever you go, there is no darkness. So be a lamp to others. That's what he, that's what he says. The next scheme, take refuge in yourself. That means, don't depend on others. Depend on yourself. Take refuge in yourself. This is number two. Number three, see no outer refuge. The refuge is not outside, it's only inside. This is number three. Number four, hold fast the truth, I said, as a lamp and refuge. Take shelter under the truth. These are the things he has talked 
before he died. He died at the age of 80. He was poisoned to death by people. Because he was a very scholar. They, they did not like him. So he was poisoned to death. He did not actually let it go, let it go, let it be there. Jesus also died at the age of 80. So what happened? Later on, as the revise, see, people started revising the after the death of uh, Buddha. So some of the, the Buddhist scholars there, they started taking something from Adharvana Veda, where it is, there are certain similarities are there. So Adharvana Veda is one which, you know, Buddha never, never hurt anybody. That's what he says. So how to see that you know, we should not hurt? In Adharvana Veda, there are certain slokas. If you chant that particular shloka, tomorrow, tomorrow king, the killer uh, thief comes to you. The uh, lion and lion, uh, wild animals come to you. The moment you stay slow, mention the shloka and show your hand like this, that stops like a stone. You can pass away. You can pass away without uh, hurting anybody. It also did not hurt you. You also did not hurt. So, but uh, let us follow the Buddhism. So that's what they said. So slowly that it became diluted, diluted, diluted. So there is no air bender. The, whatever the air that comes to you, you give, give back to him. So that's why he's not able to move fast. That is an air bender, B N D E R. That comes from other one Veda. Buddhists followed. They there. You must have seen Shaolin Temple. I don't know if you heard of Shaolin Temple in in China. That is where these things are taught. Then from from these onwards came from your Kung Fu. Kung Fu is a fight, but it's not. There is no fight at all in Buddhism. In Buddhism, keep quiet, keep quiet, keep quiet. That is Buddhism. So. Buddhism, Buddha, Jayanti, what we should do, you know, Nirvan, give up everything, that's all. No attachment, as far as possible, you remove your attachment. Try to clean up your attachment, that is Buddhism. Okay, now let us come back to our 10th volume, Lord Krishna. 10th volume, so many stanzas are there, so many shlokas are there, praising Lord Krishna. So, I will also talk one plus one, one or two shlokas in every any in every walk in every uh, every speech okay okay now om krishnaya oshrevaya then um, haraya paramatmani pranata klesha nasaya govindaya namo namaha so Krishna Aya, Aya, Aya means unto him, unto Krishna, unto you, unto you. Vasudeva Aya, unto you. Then Haraya, Haraya, Hari means Vishnu, it's a noun, name of individual, it's of individual. Hara means his energy, his supreme energy. Hara means Hara Hara Mahadeva, when you say that. What do you mean by Hara Hara Mahadeva? Hara means one who has got supreme energy, therefore he is known as Mahadeva. So that Hara, Haraye Paramatmane. Since you, you have all the powers, supreme energy you have in you, so you are so, soul of souls, soul of all souls. Paramatma means soul of all souls. Pranata Klesa Nasaya. Whatever that we could, we, we got into it problem, got into sorrowfulness. Klesa means one which gives you sorrow for sorrowfulness. Klesa. All the sorrowfulness that we, we got it from the material world because of our body, body consciousness. Nasaya, you are in a position to remove everything, clean everything and make it pure. Please do that. Please help me to remove all these things. Nasaya, destroy my my uh, my klesa. Klesa means sor sorrowfulness. Then Govindaya, nama, Namo Namaha. Govindaya, that Govinda means I'll give the meaning. You know, as you go, keep on going. I'll tell you what is the meaning of Govinda, Gopala, so many Sahasrasta Chandra Mukha. So many names are there for him. Not one name or two names. So, Chikapincha Mauli, like uh, uh, Koti Manmara, Saudarya, Komalanga, like that. Vishnu, the Vasa describes like one by one, one by one. All those things we'll talk about later. Now we'll talk about Krishna. Now, Krishna, you see, the, you must know the horoscopes. He was born, according to the, the various scholars, he was, he, Krishna descended on 19th July, 3228 BCE. That's why we celebrate Krishna Ashtami. Krishna Ashtami, Janma Ashtami comes only in the month of July, 19th July. And he left his body in 3103. 
living lived in this earth with the body for 125 years. Now you see here his horoscope. He everybody knows that he is born in the Rohini nakshatra. <coughs> Rohini nakshatra is coming in Vishwarasi, and he is also Lagna, also Rohini. What do you mean by Rohini? Rohini is so powerful, so manliness, no question of cowardliness. So the body also is full powerful, no man, no no manliness, totally divine. Fully uh, manliness means Purusha, Purusha Prayatna. He is Purushena, he is, he is Purusha. So the, and there in that Lagna. There is Ketu. Ketu one which gives you wisdom, Gnanam. So he is full of wisdom. So he is full of wisdom. In the case of Rama, it is not so. Rama is Katakarasi, Punarosha Nakshatra, fourth Pada. The only moon is there. But it is good. But uh, Lagna is also Kataka Lagna for him. But here for Rama, the Lagna is, Krishna for Lagna is Vishwa Lagna, Vishwa Rasi, and Ketu is there. Ketu means wisdom, knowledge about spirituality, is the embodiment of spirituality, that is Krishna. Now again, and he respects his mother. In the fourth house, there is Simarasi, fourth house, Simarasi, there is sun, his own now. You know the house, you see, in the horoscope, planets which are situated in their own houses means they give the strong. Hundred percent effort to the Lord Krishna to the particular person. In the case of Krishna, you see, moon is like uh, sun is Simarasi. It is Samarasi, the, the Lord of Simarasi is sun. So his sun stays there. Now Kanya uh, Kanya Rasi. Kanya the Lord of Kanya is Buddha. Buddha stays there. Now comes to Tula Rasi. Lord of Tula Rasi is uh, is uh, uh, Venus, Kamala, uh, Venus. So Venus stays there. Then uh, Rahu is in the ninth, because Ketu is in the Lagna, Rahu is in the ninth, seventh, seventh house. And uh, Jupiter is in the eleventh, Binarasi, Guru, is the one place. So that you can imagine all these planets are subordinates to Krishna. Yeah, same thing in the case of Rama is not that much when you, when you, when you refer to Rama, but here the Krishna, is so much is there. So therefore this Krishna and uh, now, also, they, uh, this is his horoscope. Next comes in. He was the eighth Astama Garba, we raise it, eighth son, eighth issue. And he was born on the eighth day after Pavanami. After Pavanami, eighth day, he was born it. So that was, uh, on the eighth day, and he chose Vasudeva and Devaki. Generally, here, God chooses. Their own, his own parent, his own mother. He does not require a man for him. He requires a woman to bear his body, his, 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 his embryo becomes a baby. So here, what happened? He was Vasudeva and uh, Devaki he has chosen. Then Vasudeva asks once after that time, "Why did you choose us, my lord?" He says. Then he says, "This is not your first birth. Your first birth was." You are known as Krishna and Uttapa. You both are married, but lived hundred percent. You live like a bachelor. She will live. She live like a virgin without any touch. So many sages, celestial gods, rishis, they came and requested you to be united so that you can have family, population. We want population, more population. You never. You always live separately. See, that is one way of living. Marriage means there no touch. Like Ramakrishna Paramahamsa, also like that. He never touched his wife. He never touched his wife. Actually, uh, the case of Buddha, he had a son, he had his wife, and all those things. He had contact with his wife. But Ramakrishna Paramahamsa is not so. So, like similarly, the Modi, our present Modi, is also like that. He never touched his wife, though he got married. So, the, so this one, this kind of a feeling, then these celestial gods, they went and uh, uh, told Lord Brahma. What is this? We want creation. He is not in a position to marry. He was married. He is not in a position to create any children. Not that he is important, but he is following the rules, dharma. No. Now both are you two in two parallel lines are going. Where is the question of meeting? Then Brahma laughs at him. Just leave it. Let nature take care of it and all those things. Then Brahma saw these people. The people. Uh, come down.
this is not a like all right these people two are uh, they have no children but at that time lord vishnu appears i say so many people celestial gods are praying are asking and so many devotees are asking so many sages are asking for the population i cannot say no to them because they all ask me to come so what i do is i will born i will descend in your wife then i have prishni so i will be known as prishni garbha just for sake for the sake of uh, pleasing them you get a child called prishni garbha at the same time you do not have any attachment i disappear i accepted it so lord vishnu came down as a descendant as prishni garbha in the, in the, in the mother womb of prishni next again lord krishna is the vishnu explains all these things to vasudeva next one you are kashyapa and uh, aditi kashyapa aditi also prayed for gods he wanted to have a god so what happened i i came as a dwarf short that is vamana so this is your, this is your second avatar as kashyapa bani and his wife aditi now third is love you and your devaki so don't bother about all those things so i am coming there as the eighth child now you know the story <coughs> devaki got married to vasudeva and vasudeva and the kamsa was the brother of, uh, of uh, devaki all the story you know and in that i have to go to the story and kamsa heard that the eighth child of this uh, devaki is going to kill him this what we we learn all the this is story, uh, story now what is this now this uh, why did he descend he will go here so there is a scientific explanation swami gives two kinds of things people bu devi got wild got uh, worried the whole world is becoming cal- cal- calamity and the, the demons are increasing like anything i'm not able to bear the burden so my lord you please come help me this is what the story says then lord vishnu comes there as krishna you ask swami what swami where is the question of bu devi no that you you say imagination then why 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 did you descend as sai rama as sai baba you see it is the whole world the whole universe is made out of five elements including you the whole earth every planet everything is made out of five elements now there are two five elements you two five elements in your house there are elements all five five elements your bodies are there now out of your mo you are not able since you are not able to if you are not able to control your mind and you shout at somebody and somebody shouts at him in the same house now what happened the other three people who are in the house also get disturbed because there is no peace both are fighting father and mother are fighting me the children get upset so that whole house is no peace so what happened there is heat inside the body inside the house heat because vibration that comes out of the body without the heat the heat is there and that because of your anger because of your emotion because of your selfishness or the anger you get you frustrated you shout like anything during that time what happened from your body all these heated vibration goes into the earth goes into the earth so earth gets heated one by one one by one, like that how many people are there in this world to go, you, 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 every day they are losing their temper they are shouting like that for 1000 years for 2000 years how many animals fight for the sake of survival all the heat that goes down into the body goes down with the result the five elements are in danger so at that time the one the supreme energy that has created these five elements comes in form of a human to establish peace and shanti this is the, this is the scientific explanation and according to buddha according to buddha buddha went and required where is buddha from he says where is buddha he asking me where is buddha some of that's a book said book forget i say don't bother the literary book you take what is buddha you mean the nature nature you become when you when your house is burning in your house you require peace you require calmness that is reason why in our vedic culture only we say om shanti 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 no other religion talks about shanti shanti amen oh, woman there there so so many things no this shanti comes only in the vedic culture 
because all your all your so your anger everything be peaceful be peaceful be peaceful let it go then only the earth will not the will not get heated because the heated or earthquake comes in you know in 1984 i think tsunami came to in madras about 180 people died so swami why did you not uh, stop that tsunami somebody asked you should have stopped it otherwise all 180 people lost that why why should i you people losing your temper selfishness all your anger goes to the earth that comes in form of tsunami that comes in form of earthquake that comes in of floods all created by you in the case of satyaga there is no flood there is no earthquake there is no tsunami why right? satya because they follow their satya and dharma they follow even in the case of ramayana ramayana also they follow satya and dharma they follow in the case of krishna satya dharma shanti prema followed but in kali yuga you people are not following therefore this happens so therefore krishna descends with this, with the energy, supreme energy which is the creator of these five elements he comes the one of the five elements or the or let us say the owner means again it becomes a noun it is verb the supreme person supreme consciousness supreme cosmic energy comes in form of a human to live along with human to reduce their anger to reduce their selfishness to create peace this is the reason of why lord krishna uh, comes down so when he is come so this is the reason why that is the reason why the the devotees they say the devotees they say iswaraha parama krishna sajidananda vigraha adiranadir govinda sarva karana karanam swami we do not know why you have descended we know you buy the games but whatever it is paramaha 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 krishna is iswara para iswara means control you are the supreme controller with the with the power of controlling energy you descended here in order to establish peace you establish peace so here the parama krishna sachidananda vigraha you are not only your physical body your vigraha your murti itself gives peace that's why those days the vigraha came into existence murti existed but rama existence came only from krishna onward existence came uh, murti came there is no murti murti means idol idol worshiping started only in uh, dwapar yuga but uh, buddha no idol worshiping nothing don't worship you worship yourself is it worship yourself that is there is a difference between buddha and our vedic culture so though some people follow buddha some people follow vedic but in, in this country the two layer uh, two layer uh, two religions came one is buddha policy other is sikhism they also did not develop much here they went out that's why even in, you, you must have seen in ukraine fighting is going on there they are able to find out uh, in dagging they are able to see the buddha idol of buddha there where is ukraine where is gaya how did it go afghanistan when they were fought there the buddha temple the buddha idol was there pakistan buddha afghanistan everywhere so that means they are able to spend so much of act, uh, uh, work for buddhism in those days whereas we do not do we do we only talk about it we talk about it we talk about ritual we talk about puja punaskaram action is nil there they don't talk much but they do action action is more important than your so called talking so therefore buddhism talks less and do more action we talk more and do less action so that is the reason why we are not able to proceed we are not able to proceed how buddha who who was who was against vedic scholars very scholars and buddha's policy people some of some of the indians liked it must have heard of, that we don't know raja ramohan roy raja Ra- ramohan roy was living in 18th century in bengal when dalhousie was the governor general of india and he said all these rituals leave, leave it don't follow then he started called brahma samajam that is another additional wing of buddhism brahma samaj means no ritual marriage no rituals uh, birthday no ritual nothing no rituals even today there are certain families in india follow brahma samajam i don't know if you come across i come across many people they don't believe in uh, uh, mohurtam marriage uh, dinner uh, no 
Mari, 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 that's all. That's all they say. That is Brahma Samajam. That is, that is uh, Buddhism, comes from Buddhism. So now here what happened? Now, uh, uh, Vishnu Shloka is Suklava Bharadam. Suklava means whiteness. Whereas, whereas he was born on the eighth day after the Pournami, so that we slowly is becoming dark. So he is bluish in color, Nila Mega Shama. But very question of Sukla. Sukla is representing his heart, his soul, super soul, Paramatma, the pure white, 10,000 megawatts light like this. This is how Krishna teaches. So now descendants of Krishna, now here what happened? Now in the middle, you know, Kamsa wanted to kill every, kill all the children of eight, the one you want to kill, kill the uh, eight, eight uh, child. So he's waiting, what by putting him to jail. Jail and Vasudeva, Vasudeva, who did not marry, I mean, you know, he no children married only with uh, Prishli in the first birth, first incarnation, second uh, in Kasyapa and Aditi. Here he has got seven wives. So more population should come in. Now what happened? Devaki was the first. All the seven sisters are Kamsa. Now they are in the jail. Now Lord Krishna says, you are going to borrow. One by one, one by one, Kamsa started killing. Now he says, now you are going to become, now I am going to get into your body. Into your body. Now what happens, Vasudeva? What you should do? And I am going to born in the midnight. You know, this area is full of devil uh, demons. I don't want them to have my darshan. So I will I'll burn only the night, 12 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the night, midnight. So that everybody will be sleeping. Then second, Tommy, see, the, uh, I have to cross Yamuna River. The, how to cross? You don't worry. You carry me on your head. I, Yamuna Radhi will certainly leave you there. Your other wife, Rohini, she is going to have a female child. So you go there, go to Rohini's place. The uh, Rohini also is unconscious now. You put up this uh, this boy, uh, the the uh, boy there, and bring back that the uh, female child here. So I mean, gates are open. Now gates have to be open. Don't worry. The moment you carry me, gates are open. Gate keepers are sleeping. You just walk out like that. If you go to Vatican City, those who go to Vatican City, there is a place called uh, Saint Peter Unchained. St. Peter Unchained. St. Peter Unchained means, I had, what is this? So here, that is the place where, in Vatican City, the place where the King Nero or the Roman King Emperor chained St. Peter. When St. Peter is chained, then, then uh, Jesus appears to him. What are you doing here? You are, you are, what are you doing here? You are supposed to teach my, my well, propaganda may spread out to my the teaching. Why are you? What, Miss Swami? What can major? What, what, my Lord? See, I'm chained here. What can you get up? Don't have faith in me. Says, when uh, Jesus talked, don't have faith in me. Simon, Simon, he's known as Simon the Peter. What the name is Simon the Peter. So the Saint Peter, he got up, and the chain broke up. Chain gives away by by itself. Then those Vatican City were soldiers. Everything is sleeping. He just walks away. You know the chain, Saint Peter unchained. That is the reason why that area is known as Saint Peter's Square. You will know, go to Vatican City. There is Saint Peter's Square where this, where these people, Jesus, where sorry, where this Pope lives, Vatican City. In that Saint Peter's Square. So, so he walk, he so Krishna or the Devaki, this man hoppers. So the the what is it? Vasudeva walks slowly, and Vasudeva the the, the Yamuna already started raising, raising, increasing the height. Then you could do the Krishna, then the Vasudeva thought, what is this? I'm, I, when he was able to reflect it, he was completely drowned. He says, I don't mind drowning, I don't want the child. Then the child says, don't worry, he's learning because he wanted to have my father, the father Namaskaram. So he, Yamuna already touched the lotus feet of the young boy, young baby, and then got down again. See how? When divinity comes on, everything, uh, everything comes in form of divinity, in form of uh, helping divinity. Have you ever seen Swami failure in his attempt? Everybody comes there, everybody says, I do something, I do something, I do something. Nobody says, why should I do? No. 
I even come to Puttaparthi, those who have interview with him, they want to you give some, you do something. He never asked. He never asked. I think I recently I sent you Pandit Shivashankar, who died, died about four days ago or five days ago, and he was interviewed by somebody. And you, you are a devotee of Satyasai Baba? He said, yes. What, did, what is it you find there in him? He is the one who attracts millions of people and they pour the money like anything. Entire money is utilized for the welfare of the society. And he never get any claim out of it. He never interviewed by TV. He never interviewed by his people. You know, he does not want any advertisement, anything. That's why I liked him, he says. See, this is what he's using. I, I think I sent it everybody. Varada, I sent it Varada also. Superman, Swarup yes, also I sent it. Am I correct? Yes, yes, I'm good. Yeah. Ah, ah, correct. That, so that is Swarup. That is similarly Krishna also. He wants to do something for others. Not for himself, not for himself. Therefore, when this comes in, the child comes, seventh child comes. This uh, the lady, the chap, uh, girl, girl comes here to Devaki, and uh, Krishna comes to her. How, how did she get a girl? According to the astrology, uh, boy only should come. It's all right. What did they let us let us kill this girl also? So you wanted to kill? He appears, uh, disappears, and says, "Hey, Krishna, hey, come, sir." Your, 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 the child is already there in in Brindavan, growing up. You, you, your, your death is after. Then he goes away. Then he gets scared. Then he wanted to kill those who are born recently must be killed. That's what happened in the case of Jesus also. Herod, Herod is the king of Israel. He was told that uh, those who a, a, a child is born now. He is going to be root cause for your ill health, your root cause for your demise. So he got scared. So he wanted to kill everybody. The first child. First child. The reason why, though the Jesus was born in Nazareth, the Jesus was taken away to Bethlehem by his parents to afraid of that becomes an Egyptian territory, not Israel territory. So this territory does not belong to King Herod. So that's why he tells. So therefore, the, the divinity always tells you, the heart tells you that, Lord, come, something is going to happen, good. Those who are afraid of, those who are selfish, they are going to diminish by themselves. This, now what happened? Now, this is what he, uh, Lord Krishna, come as a baby. Now, Rohini thinks that she is the son. So this Rohini, what, or like this, slowly he gets up. Then one day, one day what happened? Uh, now we must talk about Radha also because Radha, Radha or got married. Or Ayana Gosha or her husband. Those days, you know, Bali Vivaham. Seven year old, eight year old girls are got married. Why Bali Vivaham? So that this girl does not think of anybody else other than his mother, other than the man, her husband. So in those days, the child, because the child, eight-year-old child, he does not know, the child sits at the lap of the father, and then the Mangala Sutra was tied up. This is what you marry. But today also, most of the Vaishnavites are Brahmin, they also do the same thing. The girl of 25-year-old girl sat in the lap, lap of the father and then gets tied. You see that? That also is happening today. Because follow. Those days, that was different. Bala Viva, eight-year-old child. Now, 25-year-old girl, fully blossomed child, blossomed girl, very close to sitting on the lap of the father. See, uh, father could not even have, <laughs> carry the weight of the baby, weight of his daughter. Anyway, that is a different matter. So here, Bali Vaham, Ayana Gosha, he is the daughter of Urshapranu. Urshapranu is the one who wanted to get married to Ayana Gosha, who was in the army of Kamsa. Kamsa is in Madura, girl is in Brindavan. So she did, she did not know what, she did not know what marriage was. Eight-year-old girl, what did you know? So one day, this uh, Devaki, Yeshwada, started coming at 5 o'clock in the morning. 5 o'clock in the morning, 5.30 in the morning. And uh, she is putting this, uh, what do you call it, uh, holy, uh, holy holy column, what do you call it, in Tamil, I don't know. Uh, they are doing it outside. You must have seen morning in our villages, morning before the sunrise, when the water is spread throughout. And then the girls come, take the white chalk. Uh, calcium, 
they will put everything. It's not, it's not chagam. So it's not calcium. It's rice powder. It is rice powder. Yes. It's rice powder. They put like this. Why? The ants come and take it. That's the feed for the ant. See how the two, one is uh, alankaram. Alankaram beauty, make it beauty. Second is the food for the uh, ants like that. So when she was, uh, this Radha was doing it, and uh, Yashoda came running, hey, Radha, come on, we want to say, I want to, where is Krishna? Krishna has gone out, let us search. Where did it go? At the young age, where did it go? After all, the village, there are only four or five hours, five hours teach in this village, uh, my dear auntie. You go, you come back. No, I can't be without, I can't be quiet without seeing him. Come, let us search. Let us search. Okay, what happened? Where, why did he go? No, he was in the bed. I say, I asked him to get up uh, to take a bath. And he said, You talk to me, uh, tell me about uh, some story. So I told the story of uh, Hiranya Kashipu. He got so wild, he was whole, whole bed, everything, pillow, everything was torn. Then afterwards, uh, I prepared hot water, ready. Come on. Then she, uh, he was standing near a plant and taking a bitten tree, a fruit. Which was already bitten by somebody else. I said, Why are you taking that bitterness? It's all bad, uh, bad, I mean, contaminated. No, yeah, old woman, old, old lady gave me, he says. Who is the old lady? According to Sabari in those days. But here, the Ashoda does not understand this. Then, okay, the third, I told him, Put it ready, milk with rice, be ready, and come on, you eat it. No, I won't, he says. Why I say, I have no time, I have a lot of, I got so much of work I have to do, so much of cows are there, so much are there, I have to take care of Nandagopa, so many things are there. No, unless you beg, unless you beg, I won't accept. Okay, I am begging, please come, my dear child, please come, have some food. No, 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 close your eyes and beg, he says. Okay, whatever it is. So I close my eyes, my dear king. So he took once, one more self. Second time. I said, you are the greatest, you are lovable person, okay. Third time, I said, Manmada, you are my Manmada. And they were closed my eyes when I touched, I saw a moustache, have uh, pressed the hair, uh, uh, tender lips, uh, no, bigger lips and moustache. I opened my eyes, Nadugopa was seated there. Krishna was uh, standing there. What is it? Yeah, I know, uh, yes, so my mother, you are going to carry your Manmada, you are going to call your mother. You are Manmada, so Manmada is seated there. He ran away. This is what he does. Every time I say, I am worried, I am worried, I am worried. Yeah, Krishna has he, has he gone, has he eaten, has he sleep. The moment I keep on talking Krishna, 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 chanting, mentioning the name of Krishna, Krishna, I never felt hungry. I never get tiredness. I am full of energy. Then Radha feels, Are, by just chanting the name of Krishna, she gets so much of energy. And she sees, she is fair and walking very brisk and no tiredness. So, how about me? How about me? I think I also follow that. Let us see. Young girl, mind you. So, this, uh, this girl, she has got a friend called Neeraja. So, both went there at the Yamuna Nadi. They wanted to sing the glories of uh, uh, Krishna. Govinda Krishna Jai, Gopala Bala Radha Krishna Jai. This song was sung by Radha Niraja. The other side of the Yamuna River, Krishna was there, cow herd, grazing crows. And he could hear, see the feeling of Radha, the devotion of Radha. Then he, he re received all the prayer and he started playing flute. Venuganam. When playing it for Venuganam, then what happened? The cows stopped eating, grazing, stopped listening to the music. Stop listening to the music of the flute. Then afterwards, the cows come back and the, the owner of the house wanted to milk the cow. The cow feels, my lord, today, you, this fellow, I did not have any grass. grass. You, you, I only, my head, my stomach is full of your vernagana. It is yours. So for the milk has to go to you. I'm, my, I am tied up. What to do? So therefore, you please take this milk. At least take the essence of the milk is for you, my lord. The, the Krishna listens to the, the, the prayer of the devotees called uh, cows, agrees. Yes, I will come. So then, then the, the, the milking is made, the, the milk became buttermilk. 
buttermilk became uh, uh, curd, curd becomes butter. So butter kept at the top. So Krishna comes there and he talks eating this butter. So here everybody says, now eat the chora. The chora means it's thief. He did not steal his thief. The request of, of Soma says, no, I never, uh, uh, I mean, I never stole anything. Then they now eat the chora. You people are chanting now eat the chora, but it's not correct. So I only took milk, uh, the, uh, the butter according to him. I want a heart of that kind of a butter. The butter is pure white, pure soft, tender, very soft, tender. I want that kind of a heart. I require that kind of heart. I enjoy my heart, he says. This is what it happened. So that means Govinda means one who protects the one who protects the cows. One who will willful the wishes of the cows. One who will willful the desires of the cows is Govinda. Then Gopala, Gopala means one who admits the crows, become the all the cows become his devotees. This is Gopala. So this well, let us talk about it. We are still we are not gone to the subject subject again. We are only talking about the introduction. Introduction. Now no, let us stop with this now. It is 9.950. Jaira has come. The people have come. So we'll 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 stop with this. And next uh, Saturday, next Sunday, sorry, next Saturday, we'll take up more of uh, Krishna's uh, child, Krishna Leela's one point Leela. Why did you do that? Hello, yes, Hello. yes. Sir. Okay, now it's 9.52, so 8.45, I'm supposed to uh, talk, top the 9.52, okay. So we will talk about more of, because now this Krishna issue, you should know, I, I told you so many things which probably you would not have heard. The, you must not know, Radha got married, you don't know. And why Vasudeva, why Lord Krishna selected the Devaki to be his mother, all those things, you know, it's not mentioned anywhere. So I got into deep, in, uh, I set some research because I wanted to teach you. Everyone knows the story, but the story is not important. You must know the beer, so the matter behind the story is more important. So this is what we will let us do. go more deep and you take it from me and you are more interested, you will become, become more and more you will be interested. In this Vasudeva also, and the, he chose Devaki. And why did you choose Vasudeva? Means again, Lord says, when you are born, Vasudeva, when you are born, there are bad, uh, sound from Aka, from he heavens came, little drums came. That is, that's why he is known as Anuka Dundibi. Vasudeva has got one more name called Anuka Dundibi, means he was born, kettle drums were, uh, sound of kettle drums were heard. So, similarly, when Swami born here also, uh, Iswarama felt the sound of divine sound from Aka. From, from Akasha, he heard these are all things. So we should compare Lord Krishna because Lord Krishna is also Purnavatar and Krishna also is Purnavatar, Swami also is Purnavatar. So we will see comparison both, we will do slow, one by one, one by one, we will go slow, little by little we will go. Okay, I, we can finish it up just like that. But you know, one thing, you must know, slow, go slow one by one, one by one. So next time we will talk about these Leelas, Krishna Leelas, one by one. Okay, Sairu, so what is this? Okay, Sairam. Okay, okay. So let us stop with this. We'll stop with this. What man? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Now you know the why we should we should we chant Shanti so that the the. The, the divine words of Shanti, the divine vibrations of the Shanti goes to the earth to, to make it calm. That Om Shanti, Om Shanti was taught only by our Vedic culture, not by any other religion. So therefore, don't forget the Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Okay. So, Sairam to you, all of you. Sairam to all of you. Sairam. Sairam, Jagadishan. Sairam. Sairam. Sairam.